welcome back to Electrica and I'm really glad that you're watching. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and for subscribing. And if you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe and push the bell such that uh, YouTube can notify you uh, whenever we upload a new video. Okay. And I also urge you to watch this video at the very end. Uh, doing so, uh, you don't only learn uh, about this, but also you help me to send a very good signal to YouTube algorithm uh, that most likely you love this video. Okay. All right. Now, I've received some comments uh, from some of other viewers that uh, they have really wanted a particular content, which is the automatic changeover switch. Okay. Uh, but I've been doing series of videos about this around the same content. Now, what I've done, I've been uh, creating contents uh, and each content was about a particular uh, component in automatic changeover, uh, like timers, contactors, uh, phase failures, all those stuffs. I've done each individual videos about them, eh? uh, such that it can really help you uh, well to understand a particular uh, component before then we do the automatic changeover. Because then if we do automatic changeover, uh, we don't expect to have so many questions because then you'll be you you know you you have known and learned each and every component that comprises in it okay now today we are talking about lily and uh, this is an eight pin lily this lily it will just works similar like a contact because it has got a contacts if you look at this base uh, this is an eight pin and the base has got uh, 11 contacts uh, this is 11 pins, so the base has got 11 contacts, and uh, these contacts, uh, they are normally openings and normally closed. So it depends on what you want uh, to use the, the really for. Uh, it has got a guide uh, here, it has got a guide, and this guide helps you to know uh, which terminal and which terminal make up, uh, which terminal and which terminal make up normally closed and which terminal and which terminal make up open and you also guide you to know which terminal between which terminal that makes uh, energizes the coil so that you don't do any mistake okay and uh, the base it has got a slot guide whereby you cannot interchange the the pins okay so it has got uh, an edge it has got an edge here and this edge is purposely to making sure that whichever way you hold it it will every pain will fall into its right hole okay such that you don't make any mistakes now what happened is with this thing here like uh, I talked about uh, there's a video I did about components that make up automatic changeover this one here you go watch it but watch it after you've watched this video okay now if you look because it is transparent you see contacts in here and uh, in these contacts you will see that it has got uh, three copper bars and these copper bars are the one that are put on the armature on uh, uh, it is the one linked on the moving part so when it the coil is energized because the coil you see it is here i'll give you a closer look uh when the coil is energized it pulls this now this one is being pulled between two contacts so uh they are one two three then three by three that's nine and then plus the two contacts of the coil that's 11 okay so now since it is normal now it's off so we have normal closed contacts that are closed through the glass you are able to see it okay now when we energize it it pulls these contacts from no, from the contacts that it is closed to to another one so the one which was initial uh, closed to become open okay so I'm just going to power it up and then give you a closer look such that you can under, really understand what I'm trying to tell you all right let me bring it closer 
All right, we have our cable here, and what we do, we want to connect it here. Now, if we look here, we are being told that the contact 2 and 10, they make up our coil. Okay, contact 2 and 10 make up our coil. So here, we are going to give our coil contact number 2 and 10. Remember, you have to be very careful such that you don't, you know, feed anomaly open contacts. You feed them these wires because you will short, you probably burn your stuff. Okay? Now, our wires, we've chosen contact uh, 10 and 2, basing on what they have given us here, uh, 2 and 10. So, we put back our lead. So it has light here. If we energize it, it will light. Okay. Okay. Now, here it is. You can see the light is on. Now, I want you to look closer. I want to bring it closer. So that you are able to see those contact move. So we are closer. We want to see that contact move. Okay. You look at that. So that's normally closed. That's normally. Now it's off. So normally closed is closed because it's normally closed. Now when you energize it, the normally open becomes closed and the normally closed becomes open. You see, if the coil gets energized, you see uh, it pulls the contacts. Okay, uh, now I hope you've seen how uh, those contacts, uh, hope you've seen how those contacts moves. Okay, now in, in changeover, I explained the thing earlier on, but I'll do still. All right, now this in your changeover, because we don't want a timer, this timer here, uh, it cannot, you know, hold the burden of the contactor. Uh, this contactor here I showed you previously, it's uh, the coil, it's coil rated at 175 amps. And you've seen, and the coil is very, very small. Okay? So it can't hold that. So no matter what we do, we give, we, we let these supply our coil. Now you've seen that we have normally open here, uh, contacts that are normally open. Now, through those contacts, we will make sure that uh, the coil, the contactor coil, goes through these contacts here. Okay. Now we let our timer, which initially is supposed to supply our contactor, but because of the small plates, it can't. Okay. So now we will make our timer to supply this guy here. Now, after this guy is energized, what is going to do? Is just going to, you know close the open contacts which we use to supply the contactor and now the contactor will be energized okay all right i hope you understand now there are so many things because we have got many contacts here you can use each contacts on anything you want the second thing is interlock because you remember i showed you in automatic changeover that it has got two timers so we, much as we have uh, interlocks, manual uh, mechanical interlocks, but we do double interlock. We use, we use the auxiliary contacts of that contactor to make interlocks, but also we repeat the same interlock inside these lilies. Okay, so we make double electrical interlocks and always, then we, in addition, we add on the mechanical interlock. So all that cannot, you know, uh, mess us up okay then the other thing also uh, for lights I see very many people we normally use contactor for street lights uh, whereby I told you earlier 
for example, you have a photo cell. This is a photo cell that you, you want to supply a number of lights on the road or even your security lights in the house. Okay. Now, a 20 amp uh, photo cell or 10 amp will not supply uh, that, those bunch of lights. So what we do, we give a contactor uh, to take the burden. But sometimes we can use this because it's very small, though it's costly, it's expensive. That's why mostly we use contactors because they are a bit cheap. Okay, but you can also use this because the contractor can still, you know, hold that. Okay. Uh, I think that has been it. And uh, I hope that you have really understood. So if you have anything you want to ask, if there is anything you've not understood, please don't hesitate. Put it in a comment. I really thank the viewers that are really using the comment section that you're posting their, their demands, I'll fulfill them in mind. If you have any video that you want me to make for you or you, if you have any particular question in regard to this, don't hesitate, just write a comment and I'll give you an answer. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you know any other person that this video can you know, appeal to them or can you know, change them, just f share it, okay? Thank you very much for watching and this is Electrica and please always come back and watch more videos. Thank you very much once again and I'm out.